they drop these pictures to kind of gauge the public reaction. And then I think they'll try to tweak it a little bit before it comes out. I think this is their strategy. Oh my gosh. And they got that little symbol there too. They had that same symbol. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wrenches in my top drawer. Hey, what's up, guys? This is MJ. Today, I want to talk about an article that I saw on carscoops.com. The 2025 Dodge Charger. The picks have been revealed in near production form. So I want to talk about that. And I want to show you a video of uh, when I went to the auto show in 2022. I saw the Dodge Charger SRT concept, and a lot of people are saying that it is pretty similar to this near production pictures that we are seeing right now. So we're going to try to compare those two to see. Uh, they look pretty similar, except for in the front. It looks a little different. So I want to show you those two things. And first, I just want to make a quick prediction for the powertrain. A lot of people are saying that this is going to be all electric. I am coming out with the prediction to say it is not going to be all electric. There is no way that is going to happen. In my opinion, there's going to be three powertrains going to have the electric. I believe they will put the six cylinder straight, the inline six uh, turbo in there. And I believe they'll still put a Pentastar in there. I think there will be a six cylinder version for this vehicle. That is just my prediction. I don't know for sure, but I'm predicting it. I mean, because that six-cylinder turbo is going to be pretty expensive, right? And unless they just, unless they have a naturally aspirated version of that six-cylinder, that straight six, I believe they'll put the V6 Pentastar in there again. So, well, we'll see what happens. All right, so anyway, let's look at this article from Car Scoops. And uh, here we go. Dodge officially dropped photos of their upcoming Charger EV in pre-production attire, teasing the world before it hits showrooms later this year. All right, look at this, baby. All right. It's looking pretty good from the back. Got a big gap here, but that's not a big deal. That'll be fixed, obviously. <laughs> All right. So let's see it. Bearing a striking resemblance to the Dodge Charger Daytona SRT Banshee concept that was revealed in 2022, this model has bigger side mirrors and an obvious charging port or gas cap flap that makes it look like the render seen in the automaker's Christmas video. The headlights on this model are more square than the distinctly round ones in that drawing. Okay. And it's got a spoiler on it. Okay. I don't know why they need... Well, I guess the spoiler looks okay. So let's look at these pictures. All right. Look at this. is behind a fence. Look at that. Why didn't they just give us the pictures? Why do I have a fence in here? <laughs> All right. So, yeah. See, the front looks... The front looks a little different, but it still looks similar than uh, the video I saw, or the video I made for you guys. So let me see. The, they still got this hood. So yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to, to see it all the way, but you could kind of see it. All right, this is what I think. They dropped these pictures to kind of gauge the public reaction. And then I think they'll try to tweak it a little bit before it comes out. I think this is their strategy to kind of get it uh, perfect because... They can't just come out with it and then have people really hate it. Like, it's hard for them to know if people are going to like it or not until they actually have seen it. So I think there will be some tweaks before it actually comes out. So I, I think it's smart of them to drop these photos. I think they're doing it. And I think it'll look better once it actually comes out. Let me show you the video that I made of the the concept when I went to Detroit to see it in 2022 here we go this is my little video and this is me driving there there we go we're going to the the kobo center in the d all right there we go so let me show you this thing now this is a up close and personal this is the concept 
Now see, see, it looks pretty similar. See, it looks way. If you see this in real life, it looks amazing. It looks way better than the pictures they came out with on car scoops. But uh, well, this is Dodgers pictures. See, the interior looks freaking awesome. Look at that. Um, if they make, they have got to make the interior like this. It will be awesome. See, look, look. See, this looks way better in person. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And they got that little symbol there, too. They had that same symbol. Oh, I forget what they told me what the symbol means. I forgot. <laughs> but, yeah, look at that. See, look, it looks better in person. It looks way better. See, see the, the side mirrors look different now. They're not all small like that. You've got to be able to see out the side mirrors. See, look, see, that's how it is in person. Way better. See, look, the hood, the hood looks the same, too, of that prototype. Look at that. All right, so see, look, look, hold on. They, uh, it looks better. I think it looks better without the spoiler. Look at that. That just flows, and they don't have those gaps on the side, on uh, the trunk. So, yeah, it, it'll look way better than the pictures they showed you that Dodge revealed. But, yeah, I don't, the back of this looks great. I wouldn't change anything. And look, the interior, look at that. They got to. Oh my god, they gotta make the interior like that. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, yeah. See, see that little symbol? Forget what that means. It looked like a friggin' rotor from a rotary engine. <laughs> but yeah, see. See, look, that's how the back looks. It looks way better in person. So the only thing I don't get, they the uh, the front looks it looks, it looks normal. It looks a little bit different in these new pictures, but I'm hoping they leave the front like this. This looks really good. And um, yeah, well, that's that's how we think it'll look. What would you change, you guys? Put in the comments. What would you change anything on this? In person, I'm telling you, <laughs> it is striking. And this is just gray too. Like imagine when it has. Much better looking colors. Look at that. See, once imagine this in like red or blue or black, and how the, in, the inside of the grill is lit up. I'm telling you guys, I think that's going to look awesome. The pictures that Dodge released kind of don't do it justice. I think it's going to look way better in person. I think it's going to be pretty cool. That's my prediction. It's going to be an inline six electric version. And I believe they will bring the Pentastar V6 back for the uh, the lower end of uh, sales that they're going to be looking for. But yeah, that's all I got for you. Thank you for tuning in and have a good one. <laughs>